Hi everyone, my name is Matt Aquilina with Nexus Baseball and this is Shredded Baseball, where I quickly cover your questions about strength and conditioning training for baseball. Today I'm looking at the question, as a baseball pitcher or hitter, how much muscle mass should you be building and carrying for maximum effectiveness? This is a common question, as there seems to be a discrepancy for most people when they see baseball players. As all of the biggest players generally throw or hit the hardest, some of the much smaller players can hit as hard or harder than their much larger peers. Smaller players like Marcus Stroman and Jose Altuve can pitch and hit within 5-10% to of the velocity or exit velocity of the largest participants in the game that might be as much as 50% larger. Muscle mass can be helpful for general athleticism and stability, helping you be a better general athlete and providing the stability to repeat motions with more consistency. Additionally, carrying good extra weight in the form of lean muscle mass can also assist in generating more force up the kinetic chain by creating more torque from the legs up through the torso. However, these elements are much less important for both velocity and safety than sport-specific mobility and strength. The ball only weighs just over 5 ounces, a trivial weight, and the ability to throw or hit with velocity is all about speed. How fast we can create acceleration instead of raw power. Therefore, some of the hardest throwers are relatively thin, for example. Training methods are especially important to make sure that as you get more muscular, you don't lose needed mobility and that your big muscles don't overpower your smaller, quicker muscles responsible for acceleration. You want to find that break-even point, which is individual to you and your frame, that allows you to possess the maximum general strength without limiting the other elements. In the next Shredded Baseball video, I will be looking at how strong you need to be to throw 95 miles per hour. Remember, if you like the content, please subscribe. See you next time at Nexus Baseball.